Ah, Python developers and Pip, what a story this is! Let me paint a vivid picture for you. Imagine a world before Pip. It was chaos, my friend, absolute chaos. Developers were like lost treasure hunters, roaming the vast deserts of the internet, downloading library files manually, unzipping them, and praying to the coding gods that they worked. Need a library? You'd hunt it down, often finding some outdated version buried in the corner of GitHub. Oh, and dependencies? You'd find out about those the hard way when your code screamed errors at you. It was like trying to bake a cake without knowing you also needed eggs, flour, and butter. And by the time you figured it out, the oven was on fire. Enter Pip, the superhero every Python coder desperately needed. Pip stands for Pip Installs Packages. It's a simple name for a tool that's anything but simple. With Pip, you don't have to deal with any of that nonsense. It's like having an online grocery store for libraries. Want to crunch some numbers? Type pip install numpy. Want to fetch data from an API? Type pip install requests. Need to build a web app? Type pip install flask. One simple command and your coding toolbox is stocked, organized, and ready to go. It's like waving a magic wand and suddenly all the ingredients for your perfect coding recipe appear in your pantry. Here's an everyday analogy. Imagine you're throwing a party. You need snacks, drinks, and decorations. Without Pip, you'd be running around town going to five different stores and still forgetting the balloons. But with Pip? Oh, it's like an app where you tap a few buttons and everything is delivered door in minutes, perfectly sorted and ready for the party. For developers, this means no more worrying about where to get libraries, whether they're compatible with your project or how to connect them. Pip handles all of that for you. You just tell it what you need, and it makes sure everything fits together like a well-oiled machine. Take Sarah, for example. She's a web developer building an online bookstore. She needs a library to handle HTTP requests for fetching book details. In the old days, she'd spend hours finding the right files, downloading them, and troubleshooting errors. But with pip, it's as simple as typing, bash pip install requests. Now Sarah can use the library immediately. Python import request response requests.get htt book books print response.json. No hassle, no tears, just results. Then there's Ravi, a data scientist who needs tools to crunch numbers, analyze data, and create visualizations. Ravi's to do list might look like this install numpy, pandas, and matplotlib. Without pip, this would be an all day affair. With pip, Ravi types bash pip install numpy pandas matplotlib. In minutes, he's ready to roll building fancy charts and wowing his boss. Pip doesn't just save Ravi time, it saves his sanity and wins him brownie points at work. And let's talk about teamwork. When you're working on a project with others, you don't want to keep answering, hey, what libraries do I need? That's where the requirements.txt file comes in. It's like handing your teammates a pre-filled grocery list. Here's how it works. You create a file listing all the libraries and their versions, like this. Flask, equal 2.0.1, requests 2.26.0, numpy port 2.1.4. Your teammates just run, bash pip install dash r requirements dot tech, and pip takes care of the rest, setting up their environment exactly like yours. It's like sending them a perfectly packed suitcase for the coding journey ahead. But wait! Pip isn't just about installing libraries, it's also about keeping them fresh. Over time, libraries improve, bugs get squashed, new features are added, and compatibility issues are fixed. Manually updating libraries? No thank you. With Pip, you can check for outdated packages using bash pip list outdated and upgrade them with bash pip install upgrade library name. It's like having a butler who not only stocks your shelves, but also ensures everything is up to date and in pristine condition. Now let's have a little fun. Imagine two developers racing to set up a project. Manual installer Mike downloads libraries one by one, struggles with dependencies, and spends hours troubleshooting. Meanwhile, Pipro Patty types a single command and is done in seconds. Patty is sipping coffee and enjoying her day while Mike is tearing his hair out. Pip isn't just faster, it's smarter, more reliable, and far less stressful. And here's the secret source that makes Pip a true lifesaver, dependency management. Libraries often rely on other libraries to work properly. For instance, Flask, a popular web framework, needs several other tools under the hood. Without Pip, 
you'd have to figure out all those dependencies yourself, download them in the right order, and pray you didn't miss anything. PIP does all that automatically. It checks what's needed, finds the right versions, and installs everything seamlessly. It's like having a personal assistant who not only packs your suitcase, but also makes sure you've got matching socks. So why can't Python developers live without PIP? Because it's not just a tool, it's the glue that holds the entire Python ecosystem together. It saves time, reduces frustration, and makes coding fun again. Without it, we'd all still be stuck in the dark ages of manual installation, crying over broken dependencies and wasted hours. Long live Pip!